Okay, here we go. Let's open the meeting. Mr. Bannock, did you get a chance to review the minutes? I just started to. Not quite finished. Thank you. Actually, I did. Okay. I guess it looks like I Mr. Got, Grader yeah. will not be joining us today unless he walks in in a few minutes, but we're starting. So all of those in favor of approval of the minutes say aye. 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 Okay, Dan. Uh, board and committee, actually correspondence. There is a copy which you can't read. Uh, Mike, can I call you back in a half an hour? Okay. okay. All right, I'm in a meeting right now. Thanks. Bye. Copy of the legal notice that was in the Gazette two weeks ago for the mall. Okay, I saw that. The hearing is on June 20th. Did you say for the mall? At 11 yeah. o'clock, yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's going anywhere yet. It's soon, though. It's not going anywhere yet, but the auction date was uh, this I week. looked up some stuff when the Gazette had it. Or the Gazette looked it up, and they said that there's another mall that was doing the same thing three plus years ago, and they're still in the same oh. holding pattern. Oh. So it's going to be years before anything happens with this, is my guess. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we did the meetings. Oh, wait a minute. We had a motion to approve. That was yeah. you. Second. Uh, correspondence we reviewed, or it's in your legal notice. Board and committee meeting, there's basically nothing. Uh, staff meeting today, they went over the compensation plan to some degree. Basically, the meeting went for about an hour, and they said that uh, there's nothing to report. They're still sitting, the selectmen are still arguing back and forth in executive session about what they're going to do with it. And then, uh, next item is board reorganization. I'll make a motion, Mr. Bannock, as chairman. No, can't accept that, thank you. <laughs> uh, Tate, any other motions? <laughs> Mr. Mish, with your experience, I think at this point in time it would be extremely <laughs> to the town's endeavor to have you continue. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Mr. Bannock. Kind of disappointed you not, not our new chairman for this year, but we'll keep working on it. I'll accept that. I'll make a motion then that we so move. Um, you know. But you can now have your vengeance and nominate him for capital planning. Yeah, Mr. Bannock. I'm already on it. Jeez. <laughs> nominate Mr. Bannock for capital planning to continue. Are you sure? I mean, thank I, you. I, All those in favor? I. <laughs> and here Is we that go. a knife sticking out of your shoe? <laughs> Okay, uh, need a motion to approve the motor vehicle abatements for the month of May. I'll make a motion to approve those. And also uh, to add in this commitment for the month of May. Or actually, it's July 1. Bannock so again. Three. Two motions by motion. Bannock. Yeah. I'll second both. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, just so you know, I've got it on here, number three, the vision. Annual users group meeting is next Wednesday. I'm going to be doing that from home. Right. Thank you. Uh, departmental budget. There are two right here. Back one. The other. Uh, our 24 budget is here. I'm estimating we're going to have about 4,400 left. In the budget. 
and next year, uh, the budget was approved at town meeting. We got $120,038 for the budget. Carolyn adjusted 5600 out. Clause 41C, that was adopted at town meeting. I will have something ready to go for our next meeting, which we're going to have to meet again this month to sign the real estate person property commitments going on July 1st. Yeah. I'll have a, a handout sheet so people will be able to know exactly what the income and asset limits are for that. Uh, overlay analysis. We had discussed this a few months ago. And you wanted to bring it back up yeah. at a future date. We've got 244 in there. Right now we're budgeted to add 70 to that. I don't know how much the exemption, the cost 41C is going to add. But even if you figure 20 people qualify, that's going to be 10 grand. Right. That's not a whole lot. Uh, certain taxpayers that I thought were going to file did not file. Right. And others seem to be disappearing from filing or that we should be able to get booted out. So I was thinking we could turn, I, I agree, we can turn some of that back. I think as long as we're keeping 175 in there, we should be good because then the, the 70 that we've got budgeted for this year to add in uh, that'll end up getting probably not down to 50 and that's probably what we're going to need for exemptions will be 35 to 40 senior tax work off all right so you're looking for to we return how much probably take 70 off no problem yeah and that'll be a that'll big be help for fall town meeting that'll be excellent I'll make that motion I'll second. Okay, good. Happy day. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> uh, omitted and revised report. We had no chapter land rollbacks this year and we had no revised property values this year so we need signatures on the bottom there and a motion to approve panic made the motion so said i second all those in favor i i i signed it at a perfect spot i wanted to give us a lot of room for the uh, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> Equalized value. Uh, there's an email, those came out at the end of last week. And normally we look at it and say, yeah, it looks fine. The, the values overall, our ratios look fine where they have us. Uh, we're at between 91 and 92% for the three major classes. And at 92% overall, oh. the one problem that I had was they had our growth estimated at 13.8 million. So I sent the guy in charge of it an email saying that we're gonna contest that. And he was rather amenable to responding. He called back the next morning and said, all we need to do is send him a spreadsheet with the gr with our growth in it mm -hmm. whatever we have as i said we've got two large properties coming in and a substantial amount of personal yeah and right now we're at 24.2 and they have us at just under 14. so there's a spreadsheet in there detailing the growth the first page in a half is personal and then the the bottom half of the second page and the top of the third page is the real estate growth. 
and I just got in the, the spreadsheet that this is not final, that we've got other permits that are going to come through, so it'll go up even higher, but we're about 11 or 12 million dollars below where we should be yeah. on equalized value. And on a billion dollars, it's not a whole lot, but it is what it is. That's what our state aid is based on. So it's probably better. So we need a motion and a second to submit this spreadsheet. Mr. Bannock. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, preliminary billing and growth, <coughs> the growth we just went over, the billing information, it's already on here. I'm ready to go. We've got a phone call with Vadar tomorrow at 1 o'clock. It's going to get flipped over to the collector's side and then they'll do their magic on that side and they'll have three weeks to print the bills and they'll not. But everything looks good there. There is no principal assessment report. Anything for future agenda items? Not from this guy, Mr. Bannock. Not a. Board of Assessors is entering into executive session to conduct business relating to pending litigation ATB FY 2024 real estate and personal property abatement applications. The board will also enter into executive session to discuss the physical condition and mental health of an individual as well as review prior executive session minutes for release 3923 and 11123. And it is Moved by Mr. Bannock. Made a mo mo motion. Seconded by me. <coughs> and a roll call roll vote call to enter executive session. Mr. Bannock? Yay. Mr. Mish? Yay. 